What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course you know it's your boy B-Hop Radio Shout in. Hey man, I got the man, the myth, the legend himself, a down oh. south icon, New Orleans veteran, Mac Phipps and this thing. What's good with it, boss? It's all good. What's happening with you? Man, Pleasure feeling good, again. feeling great, Pleasure man. I appreciate again. you coming back through this thing. Ain't no, ain't anytime, anytime. Well, see, Mac, first of all, I'm so excited for you coming up in this thing because uh, that new album, Son of the City. Son of the City? You went in that jam, Mac. Ah, uh, Son of the City is, um, yeah, man, it's, it's a, I think, a reflection of, of some of the years of me learning uh, different things while I was in the spot, uh, mm -hmm. learning different instruments, and I just wanted to get out and, and basically showcase those skills yeah. on a, a, a different a different level in a different way. So, yeah, I, I really, I'm really proud of the project. Mm -hmm. um, it was doing uh, well at, at um, last time I checked, and um no machine, man. We just did it. We just did it on our own. Exactly, and, uh, exactly. Yeah. Songs like Last Night, Illuminati. But my soul ain't for sale, though. Yeah, nah. Break that down to me, Mac. All right, so Illuminati, the, the weird thing about it is um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine while I was still in prison, and they were, um, you know, telling me that, you know, I heard this rapper and that rapper, you know, had sold their soul and, mm -hmm. you know, this, this, that, and other. And I was just like, you serious? <laughs> like, are you listening to yourself? So we're on the phone, and they're like, man, I'm telling you, you know, there's this, uh, they were saying there's this guy who got a video. He's showing all these symbols and this. I said, okay, so they're selling their soul to what? Mm. And he was like, um, man, I don't know. It's, it's, they said they, 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 I said, well, what do they do at mm. this, these Illuminati meetings? <laughs> so he was like, man, they, they, uh, they be worshiping the devil. I said, Oh, so you know what's going on at a secret meeting. <laughs> like, yeah, I said, man, this is what I want you to do. I said, I want you to go and look up um, the Illuminati, find out, first of all, how to spell it, <laughs> and then find out exactly what it means and where it came from, and then I'm going to call you in three days and we'll have this conversation again. Yeah. So the song was my way of, of um, basically <sighs> – Playing mm. on that conversation, you mm -hmm. know, just basically in the song, it was just me being facetious. I basically uh, in the song joined the Illuminati actually to um, to uh, I guess exploit it and 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 you know, de uh, what's the word I want to use? Devalue Bas it. Yeah, yeah, basically to like um, undermine it mm. in so many words, right? But. Like, by the end of the song, I basically find out that the Illuminati was the latest from my church. You know what I mean? So it was like, basically like those, the old Miss Pearl that gave you the pie. Yeah. And what you thought, everything that you thought it was, it wasn't. So, exactly. Yeah. Now, another banger on there, uh, that Big Easy. That feel on that song, first of all, I mean, you broke down the city and just let folks know, you know, what was real outside of the regular glitz and glam. But right. then also I wanted to ask you, coming back after that time, how was the Big Easy to you when you touched back down? Had it uh, changed any or what? A lot. In, in many ways it changed, in some ways it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, but Big Easy was written like about 12 years ago. 12, what? 12 to 15 years ago, something like that. Um, I don't know if um, a lot of people caught on or maybe they did, but I even mentioned Cam Carter yeah. in Big Easy. Uh, People don't even have Cam Carters no yeah, more. Exactly. But that was that. That's a a, a, um, a glimpse into the time that I wrote yeah. it in, you know, years ago, and me being away from home, and it was just my way of reminiscing about home and and just being, you know, being sarcastic exactly. about some of the things about the city. So I mean, for you though, being in there recording this album right here what was that whole creative process like after all of that time just being able to get in a real studio and i mean let it flow man i was nervous as hell <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you because i hadn't heard myself on uh you know on a actual recording mm -hmm. uh, like that in, in years so the creative process was was you know was easy mm -hmm. um as far as you know the process of putting it together but hearing myself mm. on the mic again in that way, you know, it was kind of, um, it was kind of, um, it, it was a relief. Mm. It was a relief. And yet, 
I was kind of nervous because I didn't know what I would sound like after yeah, yeah. all of those years. You know, your voice changed, you know, the, your, your cadence changed, That's a right. lot changed over time. So, yeah. Finding yourself in that booth, though, what was that like just trying to get your sound together in your mind and head, make sure that that delivery was still there? Because, I mean, Mac is known for one of the coldest deliveries as well. Um, yeah, it, it was a process. You yeah. know, I had to I had to remember some things, you know, and, and one night KL came in the studio and it was uh, I was recording the song, actually the song Son of the City. Mm. And um which wound up being the title track. But yeah. um, I was recording that one, and KL just came in the studio that day, and he was actually behind the boards pushing the buttons, and just having him there kind of made me feel at home again. It mm. kind of just made me feel that, okay, okay, all right, I'm ready. Talk I am who they me. say I am. Exactly. You know Talk to I mean? me about that vibe, though. When you got KL from the pound in this thing, did it feel like old times, or was this something new that y'all had going on in there? No, exactly. In that moment, yeah. that's what it felt like. Because KL actually did, KL did a track for me that didn't make the album because we were, it was it was basically based on time. Mm. You know, we are, so it's going to be on the next one, and the next okay. one will probably be out in about two months. All right, now so, I'm with uh, that. We were, um, we were trying to get together that song, but... It was just too late, you know. We had already had the date that we wanted to release it. So, um, but he came in the studio mm -hmm. a couple nights, and when he was there, I just I felt back, you know. I felt back, and like just having his presence there made me feel like, okay, yeah, it's going down. No feel with D one. I mean, y'all got in that thing and snapped as well, man. I mean, and also y'all are talking about some on that song. Yeah. So I mean, what was it like putting that banger together? Well, No Fear was actually written about 15 years ago. Um, me and D was gonna always do a song. You know, yeah. I met D when I was in prison and um, he just was a person who came and, and uh, supported me a lot. So yes, when I got out, I was like, all right, this is the song I want him to be on. And um, yeah. I got my homie Ray Vaughn Neal to do the track. Yeah. And um, yeah, well, we actually had a different arrangement and music for No Fear because a lot of these songs we actually performed in the prison. Ah. And they were kind of hits in the popul you know, amongst yeah. the prison population. So um, when we got out and I heard this track that Ray Vaughn did, I was like, now I kind of want to scrap the one we did in prison yeah. and I want this one here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, What is it like holding on to all of that music for so doggone long and then finally being able to release it too? Man, it was like having a baby. <laughs> I was, I was just happy to get it out. Like, it's gone. Like, you know what I mean? Now I, can, now I can rest. So Exactly. I mean, you know, it's for that night. It's like after I, after it was done, mm -hmm. I just took a deep breath, just like, whew, all yeah. right. So now I'm ready. <laughs>